I think I prefer the smaller guys. They are really stepping up their game. Definitely prefer the smaller guys. That hit the spot.
show. Hey, Delson, you know, I just realized all the DUPs have concrete powers, right? So hey, all you have to do is drain one of them and we can go home. If it doesn't work, it will mean you were wrong about that, huh? Then we can still go home. about you, big fella? Oh, crap. Well, did it work? Uh, no time to check, man. I got dupes coming at me from every direction. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, great advice. All right, Reg, I hate to ask, but any of your besties in blue know anything about these core relays? Yeah, well, apparently they've got them set up all over town. Seattle PD's been keeping an eye on them since the DUP won't tell them what they do. But you can find out where they all are. Sure. Like I said. Good. I need you to send the locations to my phone. What? So you can keep tapping them for more powers? No, forget it. Wow. My own brother wants me to fight the ultra-mega bioterrorist of all time with less powers. Look, I didn't say that. Well, guess I shouldn't put it off then. Better go straight on to Augustine now and get it over with. Not sure what's gonna happen. All right, all right, I get it. Look, just stay away from Augustine and I'll send you the ones I know of. Thanks, Reg. You're the best brother ever. <laughs> no, the best brother ever would have locked you in a closet back in Salmon Bay for the rest of your life. Wow. Not sure a closet can hold a conduit for long, but I appreciate your wanting to lock me up. Reg, you should see this, man. The DUPs completely trashed this city. All the people are walking hunched over and nervous looking. Now what I tell Marshall? Occupying army suck. You may want to keep that to yourself for now. Reg, those uh, core relays we saw on the way here must have been cracked by all that destruction. This one's sealed up pretty tight. I doubt the DUP is going to let you borrow their keys. You're probably going to have to break them open. Oh, look, I just happen to have some mad new breaking skills. Oh, 
this is going to be awesome. Look out below! Not <laughs> bad, huh? Oh, you want to see it again? Jesus, man, how many DUP guys are in this city? Yeah, well, luckily you have the advantage in numbers, my man. Uh, how do you figure that? Well, because one person can move around faster, lighter, quieter. Plus, it'll make them underestimate you. Not gonna know what hit them. You wanna do me a favor and explain that to them, so maybe they'll just give up? Why? Spoil the surprise when it happens. <laughs> Good point. Checkpoints and cameras on just about every corner. That's the benefit of having home field advantage. Except this isn't their home field. Try telling them that. Okay, so that way is not an option. It's better work. That was awesome! It freaking worked!
I gotta tell you, man, I think at the rate I'm going with the powers thing, I'm like one, maybe two away from storming her castle. Okay, why don't we slow down there, hotshot? I mean, she just destroyed an entire concrete and steel bridge, remember? Right, so you're thinking one more's not gonna do it. That's what I'm thinking. Raj, man, you should see this place. It's completely deserted, no ferries going in or out, or... Same. You think the DUP does this to every town they get called to? Apparently, that's what they say. Why do the people even put up with that? Because when it comes down to it, most folks aren't willing to trade life for liberty or the pursuit of happiness. Nah, no, that can't be it. You know, secondhand smoke is bad for you. Reggie, I've used up all the core relays you sent, man. Come on, any more? No, man, that's all you get. This bioterrorist thing has you all worked up. You, you need to find some place to lay low and chill out for a Dude, while. What is it with you and laying low? I'm fine. I'm great. Give me more. No. Now, I'm working on a possible lead with a detective on the SPD, but we're not moving forward until I'm convinced your head's on straight. Okay, okay, I'll lay low. Whatever the hell that means. The pain! Nelson, I've got some information on the DUP's communications network. Now, there's a central antenna so they can coordinate the movements of all the smaller districts. All right, any idea where this central communication thing is? Well, you did say you wanted to see it while you were here. Shut up, Space Needle? Space Needle. Okay, Reg, I'm here and you were right. The needle's tricked out with all kinds of electrical crap and what looks like a bad aluminum siding job. You're 
Gonna have to get to the top of the needle. It's a nice day. I'll just climb to the top. Climb. No, no, no. Don't be crazy. Right, hey, man, it's not crazy to be awesome. Hey, Reg, hypothetical, you know, theoretical, totally what-if question here, but what would be the explanation for how I might be able to draw the power from some conduits, say, oh, I don't know, Hank, and not others, like one of these dupe troopers? Oh, my God, so you did try earlier. Hey, I'm not looking for an I told you so here, Reg. I'm just looking for an answer. had those things locked down. Well, I suppose that hypothetically, theoretically, it could be you can only drain powers from a conduit who has them naturally. A prime conduit, like Hank, or hopefully Augustine. I mean, the DUP guys got all their weaker powers from Augustine, so maybe they can't pass them on, even to you. So you're saying we have to keep going? Read you loud and clear. Don't push it. And next time, don't lie to me, okay? Trust your brother a little more than that, will you? Oh, by the way, Betty said to tell you hi. What? When did you talk to her? Uh, earlier? On the phone. And you're just now telling me? Kind of been busy. This stuff's even uglier from the inside. Looking forward to taking this stuff down. Hey there. It's Betty. Where are you? Oh, hi, Betty. I'm at the Space Needle. Oh, I'll, I'll try back later then. Bring me a postcard. <laughs> okay, if the gift shop's open. Bye, Betty. Bye bye, dear.
Oh, okay, not a good time to plummet. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? This is more like it. I'm on the uh, observation deck. Don't let your guard down. You know what they say about secondhand smoke? Onward and upward. Keep going. You're almost to the top. Time to gouge out the eye of the needle. And that must be what holds it all together. What the hell? Oh, I haven't seen you before. Reg, man, they got a small army up here. Good. They're in the right place. Or that they really don't like other people playing with their stuff. Come on, focus, Delson. Do you see any way to take down the communications? Yeah, yeah, there's this uh, anchor. Looks like it's holding all the antennas in place. Come <laughs> on. 